Hello everyone, we are the Trash Talkers and this is our product proposal, the gamifying of litter, incentivizing the public to clean up the environment. Before we begin, I wanted to provide a quick summary of our presentation. We will be going over the project overview, research and competition, project goals, proposed methods, activities, and finishing with team roles and tools we are planning to use. Starting with the overview, we first wanted to talk about the motivation behind our product. Our product aims to help make the earth cleaner and spread awareness of the importance of keeping our environment clean. Picking up litter prevents further harm to the environment. Not only can it be damaging for birds, turtles, and or various other animals in their ecosystems, but it can also beautify the earth by ridding it of improperly disposed trash. People may litter due to laziness, not having a trash can nearby, or simply a lack of care for the environment. By gamifying the proper disposal of litter, we hope to encourage and incentivize individuals to do their part in cleaning up our planet. For our product, our target demographics are all individuals ages 13 and up, specifically those that have an interest in environmentalism and keeping our planet clean and healthy, and or individuals who have a strong desire to win rewards from brands and businesses that partner with our product through picking up litter in their area. The context of use of our product are public places that are located outdoors, such as parks, roadways, recreational areas, etc. Our product will most likely be used on different days at different times of the day, depending on the specific user and their schedule. However, realistically, our product will be used when the user has extra time to pick up and dispose of any litter that they find. Lastly, as the general public tends to almost always have their phone on their person, we chose to do a mobile platform for ease of access for the user. We will now move on to research and competition. For research and competition, we performed a competitive review. The three largest competitors for our product are Literati, Trash Tag, and Recycle Bank. Literati is a mobile app that encourages users to pick up litter, document it with photos, and track collective efforts to clean up the environment. Trash Tag is a social media movement where users post photos of cleaned areas, sharing progress on social platforms, and Recycle Bank is a website that incentivizes recycling by offering points redeemable for rewards based on participation in eco-friendly activities. The key differentiators between our product and our competitors is that our app allows users to track their progress of picking up litter over time to see their impact. Users can also earn points, badges, and unlock characters for their efforts. They can compete with friends and view others' cleanup efforts in their area. They will be able to learn more about the environment through tips, facts, and educational resources. And lastly, the app could possibly aggregate data to show users how much they have contributed to the environment through a visual representation of the data. Based on our competitive review, we found four main benefits that our app will offer. The first is that it'll help users develop long-term eco-friendly habits by rewarding consistent behavior, which will then make litter collection a natural part of their routine. The second is long-term impact, as our app allows users to track their progress over time, set goals, and see results of their efforts. And then we have shared purpose, where users can connect with others in their local or global community who are also working towards a cleaner planet, fostering a sense of shared purpose. Lastly, there's a sense of accomplishment as they can collect points and rewards in the game, which will offer them a sense of accomplishment and encourage their real world accountability when it comes to litter. Based on our literature review, the human factors, basis, or support we found were that gamification techniques such as rewards and points have been shown to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of systems that promote environmentally friendly habits. 
And then the study also shows that playfulness significantly enhances user engagement and satisfaction. So by incorporating playful elements such as leaderboards, mystery boxes, and challenges, we can make these experiences more enjoyable and motivate users to continue litter collection over time. The research also highlights how positive user attitudes and satisfaction with a gamified system can increase the likelihood of continued use and positive word of mouth. And lastly, the paper supports using a cognitive effect model where both cognitive, which is utility and function, and affective or emotional engagement factors contribute to satisfaction. And our app's combination of educational resources, which would be cognitive, and engaging gameplay, which would be effective, will address these aspects. For this project, we came up with four goals and also how we plan to measure these goals. Our first goal is to educate users to properly dispose of litter and create a cleaner environment. And we will measure this using a post-test survey questioning if users understand proper disposal methods. The next goal was to partner with local businesses with a focus on cleaning up the environment to give users prizes. We can measure this using statistics from businesses of the prizes they've given and also the prizes that were redeemed. The third goal is to create an engaging and competitive atmosphere among friends to encourage them to pick up litter, which we will measure using a post-test survey that asks users if they felt more motivated to pick up litter. And finally, we would like to utilize gamification methods to encourage users to clean up their environment. We'll measure this goal uh, with test user interviews to determine if the gamification methods that we use were engaging and encouraging. Here are some methods that we came up with that will work well with our project. First, we're going to do a design charrette. We're going to do a quick five to 10 minute mental model of our application. Each group member will do this and then we'll take each team member's ideas and compare and contrast them. Then we're going to do a mood board. This is to establish our brand identity before any detailed design. It'll help us with our aesthetics and overall look. It'll also help us think deeper about how we want our application to be perceived by the user. And then after that, creating personas can help us understand our user on a deeper level and make decisions based on those personas. Now, here's a method that we are not sure if we're going to go through with, but we do think it could be useful and helpful to have an ethnographic study. And the thought process behind this is that how will our users in big city urban locations differ from those in rural areas? Will they use the application more, use the application less? etc. Then we're going to go into our hand-drawn initial prototype, assist in kickstarting our design by considering how we want our application to look and how we want it to work. Um, hand drawing allows all the design possibilities to be created and visualized, which then we can use as a base for our lo-fi prototype. Then after that, we have the wireframing. Obviously, this is to create the clear structure and overall vision. Then we get into the lo-fi prototype itself, just to visualize those wireframes. Then after that, we will go into the mid-fi prototype, implementing some clickable objects and solidifying our navigation throughout our app. Then transitioning, we will test that mid-fi prototype by doing remote usability tests. And this will really give us a good insight on those user pain points and will create tasks for a user to complete and refine any of those functions that may need improvement. And then a post-test survey could also help with further insight. And then after we have that insight, we're going to create that hi-fi prototype. We're going to have interactive elements and our key design features to test the user experience and gather feedback. And now we will discuss our project-related activity. Our project-related activity will take the form of a class survey that we will employ before prototyping to allow us to gain some initial insight into what features a user would find beneficial and interesting. Uh, the objective of this is to gain insight into the type of features that users would want, get some initial feedback about what would make them want to use the app, discover their interest in the environment, and also gauge their current knowledge level about competitors. For this project-related activity, we plan to use SurveyMonkey as a tool to gather data, and we will then use this data to produce our hand-drawn low-fidelity prototype. The data and feedback gathered from the survey will also be used to update the survey and relaunch to a wider population. We do plan to do this project-related activity from September 29th through October 3rd. 
Here's a quick rundown of some of our tools and roles within our team. Um, we're gonna use Figma for the lo-fi and mid-fi prototypes, Adobe Creative Cloud for any design related needs, SurveyMonkey for our surveys and gathering that data, Axure for our interactive hi-fi prototype, um, we're thinking about using Asana for project management, for assigning tasks and highlighting due dates so we don't miss any of that. And Canva, once again, for any design needs and presentation recordings. And here's our team, me, uh, Matt McConnell, um, graphic design, interviewing, um, and team cheerleader, woo! And JC Helmer, she's a wizard at prototyping and design and our certified coffee runner. Irina Zhang, also great with writing and design principles, and Hannah is really gonna nail down that research and data visualization. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, let us know if you have any questions in the discussion. Thanks.